Hi, everyone. Welcome to this new episode of Talk of the Town. My name is Mark Ducey. I'm the Executive Director at Acton TV. And today I've got a couple of great guests with me. I have Anita Opitz, who is the owner of Michael's Shoe Boutique. And I have the store manager of Michael's Shoe Boutique, Heidi Zigan. Welcome, both of you, to the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Very excited to talk to you today. Um, so uh, first, uh, I think I'd love to hear a little bit about uh, your backgrounds, a little bit of history. Um, you know, how did you uh, get into this, uh, this foray into this business? Um, have you ever been in small business before? Um, tell us a little bit about uh, your background. So maybe I start. Um, I moved here 17 years ago and uh, shortly after I discovered Michael's shoe and um, became a loyal client for many years or I just loved the store uh, because of the quality um, shoes and the German brands which made me feel at home but um, I always had this dream uh, to have my own store even though I was not at all in retail um, I so my background is um, I had office jobs in the corporate world and was never really happy in those jobs but I also um, did not work for many years I was at home with my children um, and sadly my daughter was very sick so I was at home taking care of her for many years and she sadly passed away and that happened now almost nine years ago and that was for me the moment when my world kind of fell apart obviously and I had to find a, a new meaning and I went back to college and got my bachelor's degree and all of a sudden this opportunity um, came up and I heard um, um, about the closing of the store and first my reaction was oh no <laughs> I don't want this store to close and then um, when I found out that they were looking for a buyer and um, I had just um, inherited a little money from my mom um, and I said I could do this but um, at the same time I thought this is kind of crazy me doing this and like turning from uh, the client into the owner of the store obviously without any knowledge about retail or the shoe business, um, that's not such an easy task. <laughs> um, so I have actually grown up in a very, I grew up in a very creative and entrepreneurial household. Uh, my mother was uh, a, uh, a store owner <clears throat> from when I was really little. I actually took my first steps across the, my dad put me down at the, the front of the store and I walked to my mother. So literally my first steps were in, in into retail um, and environment. Um, I started going into, into the trade shows with my mother when I was a teenager <laughs> and uh, and started at her store when I when I officially you know went down to town hall got my got my permissions at 15 to, to start working at the store started as a wrapper and 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 for for all of the gifts and things like that and and literally learned everything from from the buying all the way to the receiving and selling and and really concentrated and learned some <clears throat> really good lessons from the people that were in my mother's store and from my mother. Um, the way that shoes got into my experience is that um, after I was married, I actually was recruited uh, from Limited Brands Corporation uh, from a limited brands corporation store and I was recruited into Ho Holly Lane which is one of the largest family owned shoe store uh, chains in the east northeast really I think it's in, it's based in Connecticut so I actually went through what would be called shoe boot camp um, with Holly Lane and uh, when Anita met me uh, it was, you know, a few years later after I had left there, um, you know, life happens and, and go different places. And um, Acton has actually been um, a place where I was making life decisions 30 years ago. And now I found myself, uh, you know, 
wanting to uh, establish roots in the area and really made a, a commitment to stay in the area and um, Anita came along when I was working at Pier 1 and they were actually closing. I remember coming in 30 years ago with my friend that I went to school with. So it, I came back here to sort of revisit things and I got to know um, the, the staff that was here and loved the shoes and reminded me of my time also at Holly Lane. So it was nice to sort of revisit that. And then um, I was introduced to Anita through one of the former staff members here. Anita had a very clear vision of what that was. If you want to talk about that vision, Anita. Well, yeah, I'd, I'd love to hear a little bit about that and about um, where the, the boutique came from in Michael Shue, because obviously uh, Michael Shue had been a institution in Acton for 34 years and you kept the name, but you expanded upon it. Um, so tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, initially I wanted my own name, but then um, <clears throat> I um, decided that this is the name that the store is, um, everybody knows the name and and it would have been man, one more thing to think about. Also, because we don't only carry shoes, we extend it a little bit. We have an art corner where we, um, it's basically friends of mine who are, um, when I started painting, I met a lot of artists and so I have a lot of friends who are um, artists and um, I met this woman who makes these beautiful bags that are in the background that you can see behind Heidi. She um, ice dyes the fabrics and then she makes beautiful bags and pillows and um, uh, little pouches. So she is very creative and it, it brightens up my uh, store and um, um, then I have some nice paintings and then some jewelry also, a friend who makes jewelry. And, um, and then also um, I would like to uh, bring music into the store. That was um, an idea before the crisis hit that I wanted to bring retail back to life already before the crisis. Um, retail was kind of in decline with all the online ordering and um, my thinking was we have to um, do something so that we don't see more and more empty storefronts and that people appreciate to come to a store and have the personal connection and get the personal advice and don't just sit at home and click on a button and um, more and more um, stores have to close. So I wanted to do something to make, um, make a difference and um, make the store not just a shoe store but kind of a destination um, where you can connect with people and um, around art around music and um, and shoes um, are also like shoes have a meaning for me first of all I, I always loved shoes and second I believe um, that it is important to wear good quality shoes because in the end um, it affects your whole body. If you wear the wrong shoe, it affects, um, yeah, you have pain in your feet, you can have pain in your hips and your back. So you just need um, good shoes. That's something I always believed in already as a client, which is why I always went there for, for their good quality shoes. Yeah, let's, um, let's actually talk a little bit about your product, which is footwear. Um, I know for myself, Shoes are the type of thing that I can't buy online. I need to go to the store. I need to try them on. I need to walk around, see how they feel. Um, so with your product, what, what type of shoes do you offer? Is it dress shoes, um, sneakers? Uh, talk a little bit about um, some of the different types of footwear that, that you have in the store. Well, I, I, um, my goal is to have... Um, a little bit of everything um, so main goal is quality um, but I, we have women's men's and now we are also uh, going to introduce children's shoes and uh, right now our main focus is not dress shoes because of the crisis but we we have both so we, we will have more dress shoes down the road Getting started, we focus a little more on comfortable shoes, walking shoes, sneakers, 
each person that comes into the store is unique. So I think it's important to have a really good variety of shoes. And one of the things that is often not uh, accessible is widths. And that's one of the things that we would also like to be able to accommodate to a customer who has narrow or slim feet or if they have wide or extra wide feet. Um, so most shoes come in medium widths. And it's also important to remember that each, just like each individual that comes in, each vendor is also very uh, unique in its own right. Um, because we do carry the European uh, companies as well as the American companies. Um, <clears throat> you know, we are dealing with European sizes and with American sizes, English sizes. So it's important to try to um, communicate that uh, good, uh, you know, well to the uh, customer. Um, right now we're carrying um, Dansko, which actually is a company that has a reputation for having really good arch support. Uh, Brooks is one that uh, a lot of podiatrists are recommending if you have, you know, pronation uh, or if you have plantar fasciitis, you know, it's important to have that, that um, capability to be able to extend and reach in your shoes. And so we've got the uh, Brooks line, we've got the classics, um, Echo has been around for quite some time. We've got a company from Holland that is Wolke, and Wolke is known as um, a premier walking shoe. So that there's sandals as well as we're going, obviously we're going into the fall so that they've got some really nice walking shoes and, and, and boots that are coming in. Um, Jambu is is sort of a, a, a fun uh, a fun company that we've been working with and we have just picked out a nice selection even for spring of 21 and we've got a nice um, se selection that's going to be coming in. I know that there are still you know people who are a little bit nervous about coming into you know stores and things like that and so you guys have uh, have offered a curbside pickup we do have curbside pickup. We also, um, you know, if there's somebody that is uncomfortable, they're they're able to make an appointment with us before or after hours. And I have actually made home visits, uh, you know, to people who are homebound or if they have issues. Uh, I visited a, a couple who she was homebound and he actually has uh, diabetes and neuropathy in his feet and, and was really uh, something that needed they needed special attention so I actually went to their home and and made sure that there was social distancing and masking and 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 sanitary uh, environment uh, for them and brought them the shoes and did the fitting and and ordered some shoes for them that that were appropriate um, because people you know not everybody is is comfortable and and you know if, if they're compromised then we want to make sure that we're giving them and us the the respect of of that distance and that you know clean environment and, and what's nice is that you know although we were sort of forced not to open we you know gave anita the opportunity to uh, you know, sort of spruce things up and clean things up and put new paint on the walls and, and clean the rugs. And so everything in here is, uh, you know, far more sanitary than it may have been. <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I feel safe coming into work, which is really important. And I want the customer to also feel safe. Now, for, for those of you who don't know where Michael's Shoe Boutique is, it's located in Gould's Plaza or Donnellan's Plaza um, at 262 Great Road. Uh, now, uh, I talking to Anita recently, you said you had a, a new website um, that has launched recently. Can you talk a little bit about that? Well, the, the web address is michaelshoeacton.com. It's, it's all linked to our um, POS system that we set up. So whatever we, um, whenever we get a new shoe, we put it in our POS system, we put a photo up and then it automatically um, gets uploaded into our, it, it, it can be, it's visible on, on our website. Um, what are the best, what's the best way to contact you guys? And, and can you also uh, mention your uh, website address again? Um, michaelshoeacton.com. 
is the website. We also have a Facebook page, Michael's Shoe Boutique. Um, we are on Google. If you Google Michael's Shoe Boutique or even Michael's Shoe, I think now it, it automatically, um, you will automatically find Michael's Shoe Boutique. And um, we are on Instagram, on Pinterest. Um, our phone number um, is 978-523-4010. That's our store phone and address is 262 Great Road on Gould's Plaza in Acton. Um, what are your hours? And yes, that's important. <laughs> we are open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. every day during the week, um, except Thursday, um, where we open until 7, so an hour longer. Um, we wanted to accommodate people who work and um, um, change the opening hours a little bit, so it's a little longer um, in the, in the in the evening. And then Saturday from ten to four, and Sundays are closed. Well, it's been fantastic talking with you both. Um, it just one I wanted to see if you had any last little bit of information you'd like to give to the viewers before we go. Uh just that we look forward to seeing you or hearing <laughs> from you in the future. Thank you so much for your time. Yes, thank you. And again, Heidi mentioned it, our slogan is shoes for happy feet. I, you know, I wish you both many years of great success uh, here in Acton. Anita, Heidi, it's been wonderful talking with you both today. And uh, for those watching, thank you very much uh, for, for watching this episode of Talk of the Town. And I uh, look forward to seeing you all next time. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Thank you.